Wembley for the big match and about 100,000 people there to see it. But first, the ceremonial. Blackburn Rovers in track suits come out with Wolverhampton Wanderers for their formal presentation to His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester. Cup final tradition is maintained. Then, with the ball on the spot, there's something of an innovation. The exchange of banners between Bill Slater Wolves and Ronnie Clayton. Rovers in half shirts kick off, and in good cricket weather, the star football match is on. Wolves' forward line was soon in action with Dealey, Stobart, and Murray featuring in a good movement. Wolves, in fact, were soon snarling into Rovers' goal mark, where Harry Leyland was kept on the hop during some critical moments. Then across from Flowers sent Stobart away. In came his perfect centre and it was a goal. It was an own goal by McGrath, in fact. Soon after this, Dave Whelan was in collision and was seriously injured. What shocking luck. It was later reported he'd broken a leg. The Wembley hoodoo was at work again. It meant, of course, that Rovers were a man short all the second half. Wolves attacking now, and after 20 minutes, a centre from Horn gave Dealey the chance he wanted. 2-0. And Wolves working away to make certain of taking the cup to Molyneux. Presently, Flowers gets the ball in the net, but the ref rules it offside. Yes, madam, we know, we know, it was offside. Blackburn, in spite of the handicap, made gallant efforts, but in vain. Movie Tone Sport slow down camera analyzes an attack on the Blackburn go. Wolves, not content even yet, were awarded in the last minutes with another from Dealey. Oh, that's torn it. That's a lot. True enough. And soon Bill Slater was leading his pack along to collect cup and medals. The Duchess of Gloucester did the honours. The cup not only must be won, it must be seen to have been won. So Wolves made it clear. In their dressing room, Ronnie Clayton, Blackburn skipper, made a point of congratulations. Fair enough. Following the triumph at Wembley, the triumph at Wolverhampton. For the fourth time in their history, Wolves brought the cup home for safekeeping at Molyneux. The whole town was out, of course, to see the trophy and applaud the men who'd won it. Supporters now saw it borne through their streets for the first time since 1949. The vast throng of football fans fairly let themselves go, cheering Bill Slater and his team as the most famous prize in the soccer world was displayed for all to see.